Let's get right into it. Number 9. Blindsight. Imagine being completely blind, but still being able to catch things thrown at you. Meet patient Tien. Tien lost his sight completely after two strokes damaged his visual cortex. He can't see anything at all. Not shapes, not colors, nothing. But when scientists threw balls at him, he caught them perfectly. When they put obstacles in his path, he dodged them, all while insisting he couldn't see a thing. His conscious brain is blind, but some other part of his brain is still watching. It's like having a security guard in your head that never tells you what it sees. Scientists put Tien in a hallway filled with furniture. He said it was impossible because he couldn't see anything. But when they convinced him to try, he walked through perfectly, dodging every obstacle. Not a single bump or stumble. When scientists showed Tien pictures of faces with different emotions, he couldn't see them, but he could guess the emotions correctly most of the time. His brain was reading facial expressions without letting him know. Your brain is doing this right now, processing tons of visual information without telling you about it, making decisions before you're even aware there's a decision to make. That gut feeling you get about someone? Maybe your brain noticed something your conscious mind missed. That sudden urge to step aside while walking? Your brain might have spotted a danger you never consciously saw. Number 8. Filling in visual blanks. Your eyes aren't sending a perfect picture to your brain. Far from it. Your brain is basically guessing most of what you see based on limited info and past experience. Look straight ahead. Notice how you can't see your nose. Now close your left eye and look right. Suddenly your nose appears. Do the same with your right eye. There it is again. Your nose didn't go anywhere. Your brain just decided to erase it from your vision because it thought it would be distracting. It's like having a really aggressive photo editor in your head that deletes things it doesn't like. Your brain isn't just hiding things. It's actively creating things that aren't there. When you see a friend's face in a crowd, your brain is probably filling in half the details. That memory of what your friend looks like is mostly your brain's best guess. Ever notice something weird in the corner of your eye? By the time you turn to look, it's gone. That's because your brain was just guessing what was there, and it guessed wrong. Scientists have found that your brain starts making up what you're going to see before your eyes even send the signal. It's like your brain is writing the story before reading the book. Number 7. Choice Blindness Scientists showed people two photos of faces and asked them to pick the most attractive one. Then using sleight of hand, they switched the photos. They showed people the face they didn't pick and asked them why they chose it. Most people didn't even notice the switch. They started making up detailed reasons for why they chose the face they actually rejected. Oh, I love her smile. His eyes seem so kind, explaining their choice of a face they actually rejected. Your brain is like a lawyer who got handed the wrong case file. Instead of admitting the mistake, it just starts making up evidence. Scientists tried this with food, too. They had people taste two different jams and pick their favorite, then secretly gave them the jam they rejected. Not only did people not notice, they gave elaborate explanations about why this was definitely their choice. Oh, I love how smooth this one is. All about a jam they actually hated moments ago. They even did this with political beliefs. They had people fill out surveys about their views, then showed them the opposite of what they wrote. People defended these completely opposite views like they were their own, creating passionate arguments for positions they had literally just argued against. Number 6. Change Blindness Scientists did this wild experiment where they had someone ask strangers for directions. While the stranger was giving directions, two guys walked between them carrying a door. Behind the door, the first person switched places with someone completely different. Most people didn't even notice they were now talking to a totally different person. Their brain just kept giving directions like nothing happened. Your brain is the world's laziest security guard. Instead of watching everything, it just takes random snapshots and fills in the gaps with whatever it thinks should be there, like a really bad artist drawing from memory. This happens to you every single day. That car you swear was blue when you parked next to it might have been red the whole time. Your friend's new haircut they got three weeks ago seems new to you today. That thing you're absolutely certain was on your desk has been gone for days. Movie directors use this trick all the time. They can change entire backgrounds between shots and you won't notice. Your brain is too busy following the story to care about the details. Half the things you think you're seeing are probably your brain's best guess, and you'll never know which half. Number 5. Pareidolia Your brain is seeing faces everywhere right now. In clouds, in toast, in the electrical outlet staring back at you. Your brain is obsessed with finding faces. It's like having an overexcited friend who lives in your head and never shuts up. Except this friend turns everything into a creepy staring contest. That outlet on your wall thinks it's judging your life choices. Those two dots and a line on your toast become Jesus giving you breakfast advice.
That cloud in the sky becomes your ex watching you from above. Scientists found that babies can recognize faces just hours after being born, back when we were cavemen. This helped us spot friends and enemies quickly, but now our brains are going overboard, seeing faces in everything from power outlets to the moon. The face on Mars shows just how powerful this effect is. In 1976, NASA took a photo of what looked like a giant face on Mars. People thought it was proof of aliens. It was just a hill casting shadows. But our brains were so convinced it was a face, people believed aliens built it. These faces might seem more real the more scared or lonely you are. Your brain will create companions out of thin air just to make you feel less alone. That's why you can't unsee the face in your electrical socket. Number 4. The McGurk Effect Your brain lies to you about what people are saying. Scientists discovered something weird in the 1970s. If you show someone a video of lips saying one sound, but play a different sound, your brain creates a third sound that wasn't even there. Someone says ba, but their lips show ga. Your brain gets confused and makes you hear da, like a bad translator trying to compromise between your eyes and ears. This isn't some weird lab trick. It's happening to you right now. Every time you watch TV, make video calls, or talk to someone in a noisy place, your brain is quietly rewriting what you hear based on what you see. That conversation you had in a noisy bar was probably your brain's best guess based on lip reading, like a really confident fortune teller who's just making stuff up. Even when you know about this trick, you can't turn it off. Scientists can tell you exactly what's going on, show you the proof, and your brain will still insist it heard what it heard. Number 3. Motion-Induced Blindness Your brain is literally making things disappear right in front of your eyes. Look at a bright star in the night sky. Now notice all the other stars moving around it as your eyes drift. Keep staring at that one bright star. Suddenly, it vanishes completely. The star didn't go anywhere. Your brain just decided to erase it from your vision. Scientists show people a bright dot surrounded by moving patterns. After a few seconds, the dot vanishes completely, but it's still there on the screen, clear as day. Your brain just decided it wasn't worth seeing anymore. This happens to you every single day. Imagine driving down a busy street. All those moving cars, people walking, signs flashing. Your brain gets overwhelmed with all this movement, so it starts deleting things it thinks aren't important. That parked car you swear wasn't there? It was there the whole time. Your brain just decided you didn't need to see it. It's like having an overeager assistant who thinks they're helping by throwing away your unimportant mail. Number 2. Motion After Effect Your brain is gaslighting you about movement right now. Ever stare at a waterfall for a few minutes? When you look away at the rocks, they seem to float upward, but they're not moving at all. Your brain is just lying to you. Your brain has special cells that detect motion. They're like tiny security guards, always on the lookout for movement. When you stare at something moving in one direction for too long, these cells get tired, like overworked employees who just can't function anymore. When you look at something still, your tired motion cells are sending weaker signals than the rest. The cells that detect opposite motion are still fresh and ready to go. Your brain just goes with whoever's signaling the strongest. This happens to you all the time, scrolling through your phone too long. When you look up, the world might seem to scroll in reverse. Your brain is giving you a free trip without the drugs. These motion-detecting cells were meant to spot predators sneaking up on us. Instead, they're making us see phantom movements everywhere. Number 1. False Memories Imagine being absolutely certain you remember something from your childhood. You can see every detail, feel the emotions, hear the sounds, but then you find out it never happened. Your brain just made the whole thing up. Your brain isn't like a video camera that records everything perfectly. Instead, it's more like a storyteller that gets creative with the facts. Every time you remember something, your brain rebuilds that memory from scratch, like playing with Legos. But sometimes your brain gets lazy and throws in random pieces from other sets. Scientists have managed to plant completely fake memories in people's heads. They've done experiments where they convinced people they committed crimes that never happened. These people didn't just kind of remember it. They created detailed stories about how guilty they felt. They remembered the weather that day, what they were wearing, even specific emotions. The scariest part? These false memories feel exactly like real ones. Your brain can't tell the difference, and neither can you. People have ended up in therapy dealing with trauma from events that never happened. Others have been convicted of crimes based on eyewitness testimony, only to be proven innocent later. The witnesses weren't lying. They truly believed what they remembered. Their brains just tricked them. So next time you're absolutely sure about something that happened in your past, remember, your brain might be gaslighting you, and you'll never know which of your precious memories are real. 
and which ones your brain invented. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.